What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing of Max Beating Rods Street Turbo. Uh, so let me just go ahead and just uh, flip the camera and I'll show you guys. Alright, so here it is. I had already opened this um, to take some pictures and uh, uh, whatnot. But here's the famous black box with Max Beating Rods logo. Uh, the turbo in here is actually the GT3582. Right there, it's a GT3582. Uh, they have the standard turbo and they have the street turbo. This here is the street turbo uh, that has the billet uh, compressor wheel. So I'll show you guys as you know as we continue along. But uh, first things first, it does come with some of the gaskets that you might need for the turbo. So it is a four bolt exhaust flange. This is a three inch. And it does come with the T3 flange that hooks up to your manifold. Uh, other than that, it comes with the gasket for the oil return. And another one over here for the oil feed maybe. Uh, and it also comes with a little uh, booklet, some instructions, installation instructions, and a booklet about us, uh, the Max Penny Rods. Let me go ahead and just put the camera here. All right, we have the turbo itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Let me go ahead and open this real quick. Here it is. Alright guys, so here it is. Here's the turbo. This is the Street Turbo by Max Speeding Rods. So the Street Turbo comes with a billet aluminum compressor wheel. It has the anti-surge housing. Um, the material itself is the ZL104 aluminum. So it's very good on uh, uh, corrosion resistant. It's also weldable if you need to weld some elbows and this one here comes with a little fitting. It's like a barb fitting, so you can hook up directly to your wastegate or anything that needs either vacuum or boost. Um, so very nice looking compressor housing. Has the Max Speeding Rods logo right here. So very nice. Um, this compressor, I mean this turbo itself, uh, it's compatible with any four, six, or eight cylinder engines from a 2.5 liter all the way to a 6.0 liter engines. So it has a wide variety of applications. Um, it's, com it's capable of making up to 600 horses. This is a journal bearing, so the cartridge right here. Uh, this one has for the oil feed, well actually the oil feed on this side and the oil return as well as water lines. So uh, I'll talk about the fittings, the size, the th threads and all that stuff that you might need with this turbo. But so it has the water uh, cooling line so you can uh, keep this turbo cool. Um, the compressor housing, no, the turbine housing right here is made out of a uh, silicon molybdenum, which is a type of alloy steel that um, you know, just uh, it's very uh, high heat resistant, so it's uh, capable of resisting high heats. Uh, it has a T3 uh, T3 flange over here on this side, so you know you can hook up to your manifold coming out of your engine, and then the exhaust is a three inch uh, four bolt exhaust flange. There's a turbine wheel. These are fully balanced. The turbine wheel is made out of uh, K419 alloy. So again, uh, capable of uh, withstanding high heats up to like 1000 degrees Celsius, which is about uh, 1800 Fahrenheit. So moving on to the cartridge, let me see if I can move this. Pretty heavy turbo. And uh, so that way I can show you guys. This is the oil feed. 
right here. So inside, it already has a restrictor. Uh, this is a journal bearing, not a ball bearing. So the journal bearing here, um, you can use, I've got the threads right here. So here's the one for the oil feed, the threads that screw onto the turbo. These are 716 by 24, and it's an inverted flare. And over to a, uh, I have the 4AN oil feed lines, but as you can see, it's not restricted. Uh, the journal bearings, you don't need a restrictor. You can if you want to, but it already has a restrictor uh, inside through that hole. So this is a 4AN. You can also switch over to a smaller, which is like a, a 3AN. Uh, you might want to put some Teflon on these. Um, oops. But this is the one that fits in here. There you go. So that's the 4AN oil feed. Uh, for the oil return, right here on this side, the oil return, it's the holes are a lot closer together than the smaller turbos. Uh, there's some kits that come with the oil feed, oil return uh, lines, plus some of the fittings um, for the feed. You might uh, see some that have two bolts for the oil feed with the restrictor already in it. Uh, this is different. You have the ones with the female thread, so you put in your, your fitting on there. Now for the return, this is a 10 AN, and you can see these holes are just kind of ovalish. So this one will fit both of them. You just have to make sure that you order them for a GT35 turbo. And you can see uh, the threads are um, on there. And uh, I ordered some 10 AN line for this one. It's just, uh, it's, it's inside the house right now, but I ordered some extra 10 AN line for this so I can make the return and I have some extra I have some extra, like, some of these fittings, uh, plus the ones I have in the car. Uh, those are 10 AN fittings, but that's for the oil return, and it, this one, once you buy it separately, um, they will come with the gasket and two bolts. The bolts are M8 by 1.25, uh, so they can fit there. I'm probably going to use the gasket that comes with the max speeding rods. Um, so just because that's what comes with the turbo, so I'm probably going to use that. Uh, now for the, the water lines, the water lines, it has, uh, an entrance and, a, and an exit. So it doesn't matter which side the water is running. Um, it's not specific, but the threads are the same. So these are female threads and, uh, here are the fittings for it now for the water lines the thread is m14 by 1.5 and over to a i have mine um, over to a 6an so i'm using 6an for the water lines just go ahead and just put this one right here there it is oops so right there so you need two of those. Again, those are M14 by 1.5. And mine, on this side, I have um, 6AN. Like, that's what I'm going to use. Um, this, again, sold separately. You can choose, uh, you know, whatever size. You can also go towards um, 8AN. Uh, I think it's possible. 8AN to an M14 by 1.5. But I'm going to use 6AN. These are some of the fittings and some of the uh, line here. You could also use, I believe there are banjo bolts. Or um, I think they're banjo bolts. I'm not sure. But um, stainless steel line. Just because there's heat here close by. But that's up to you to figure out on your application. Me, this is what I'm running here. Uh, 6AN. Uh, so you need two of these. And I have the other one over here. And that is uh, pretty much it. Now for the 
for the exhaust flange. So this is a three inch. Now before they actually shipped out the turbo, I went ahead and ordered some of these parts. I went through their website and I got some of the, um, some of the sizes. I saw some of the listings and I, I saw some of the sizes for the fittings here for the oil feed and the water um, outlets. The return, like I said, you need to make sure it's for a GT35. Um, so it's fairly simple. Uh, but for the exhaust flange, I ordered a head and I went ahead and ordered a 2.5 inch exhaust flange. It's a 4 bolt, but it's for a 2.5 and you can tell that you know it's a lot smaller than the one on the turbo so i'm gonna have to order this one again i had already ordered some v-band flanges as well which um they're for two and a half inch exhaust pipe which are not going to fit in this application i'm gonna have to order those like later on uh, initially i i got this turbo for my mitsubishi which is the closest thing that is, you know, to turbo since I already have it turbocharged, but with the smaller turbo. So I thought I already have all the lines for the feed return. Uh, I'll probably just connect those and, you know, redo the exhaust. Turns out the exhaust is a little different and everything else is different as well. So as for the oil feed, um, like I said, the smaller turbos have the two bolts and the little restrictor plate on it and this one is uh, threaded so you have to get a threaded fitting and then for the water lines the other turbo doesn't have water lines so i actually got these 6 ans and uh, water lines so i can connect onto my car and you know the return was a little bit like different so that's why i got it so and since i have to redo the exhaust I was thinking I might as well turbocharge either my Silverado uh, Vexi, it's a 6.0 liter engine, or my Tahoe, which the Tahoe has a 5.3, uh, which are very capable of, um, you know, moving this turbo, uh, getting the most out of it, since my car, the Mitsubishi, uh, probably won't make anything close to 600 horsepower. So I think the best one is either the Vexi or the Tahoe. Um, the Vexi already has dish pistons, uh, so it's already you know best suited up for a turbocharger. Um, I think the Tahoe has a nine to one compression, and the Silverado has a nine to four. I'm not sure what the compression ratios are on it, but um, yeah, the Silverado is a 6.0 uh, LQ4. So, best suited up for the turbocharger and making 600 horsepower on the Chevy. Um, at least capable, you know, like maybe with some supporting mods or whatever. But, here's a turbo once again by Max Peening Rods. And, go ahead and flip the camera. Alright, so, there's a turbo. It's such a beautiful turbo. Uh, the quality on it just looks amazing. Um, I'm yet to install it on the car. I'm still going to, like, try it on. Since it's already like more than halfway there with all the turbo stuff. I already have the turbo manifold, the oil feed, and you know, the drain already for the oil pan and all that stuff. So I'm still going to install it on the Mitsubishi, see what it does. But I am going to, you know, slowly get some parts together for an LS engine. That way I can either swap the uh, truck or my Tahoe. So I'm but um, if you guys are interested in this turbo, uh, head on over to Max Peating Rods and check this one out. This one has the, it's a street turbo, so it has the the billet compressor wheel, the billet aluminum, full forged, uh, machined uh, compressor wheel. And this one on itself, if you guys use the code GTPM, now that'll save you an additional 10% off your order. So with the code, this turbo exactly is running about $205 right now so it's a really really good deal uh, especially if you're on a budget looking to turbocharge your car something you know very decent quality uh, they also have the standard GT35 
which after the code comes out to about 110 bucks. So $110 for a GT35, that is just amazing, spectacular. <laughs> so check out the website, maxpinnyrods.com and use the code GTPM. Save yourself a little bit of cash and you know help the channel out just a little bit. Uh, so that's going to be it. Just a video showing you guys the turbo, some of the fittings and thread sizes that you might need for your turbo charger. Uh, other than that, I will be working on, you know, some of the, uh, you know, to turbo charge, put this turbo onto the uh, Mitsubishi. I have the turbo manifold. I'm just going to use some ceramic coat on the manifold and just swap everything out. Uh, probably going to, you know, order some exhaust. Like I said, this is a three inch and I accidentally ordered two and a half inch. But, you know, get some small parts together and that way I can have another video for you guys of this turbocharger and we'll start either trying it out, making some boost or whatever comes with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you can and um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks for watching. Peace out.